Hey, y'all. Welcome back. My name is Shamika, and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super, super excited to, to see y'all um, because it's been a minute since I've recorded anything. Um, as you know, I think I said before, I've been sick. I've been in my grief roller coaster, and yeah, life life be life in y'all. But what I will say is I appreciate you checking out all the shorts that I've been posting on YouTube, all the TikToks, just all the social media that's been, I've been uh, scheduling and, and pushing out there, even though it's sometimes it's old interviews, but y'all be watching and I appreciate it. So anyway, y'all, don't you love a good prison break story? And no, I'm not crazy. And no, I'm not going back into my TV news <laughs> <laughs> archives, but I always find these stories very interesting. So according to this press release, in 2006, over 2 million Americans were incarcerated, but only one managed to escape a federal maximum security wing while under 24-hour surveillance. And that is Quante Bosco Adams. He's in the building today, along with Aubrey Joseph. And y'all know him from Marvel's Cloak and Dagger, but both of them are here to talk about the new Peacock film called Bosco, based after Bosco's life, and it starts streaming on Peacock on February 2nd, and so Aubrey plays Bosco in the film, so I can't wait to find out what this film is going to dive into. Are we going to get all the details we need to know? Like, I want all the details of this film, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss today's show. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are you? Good, yeah. pretty good. Wow. Nice <laughs> I cannot wait to see this film, Bosco. So I'm going to start with you, Bosco. <laughs> or, do you, or do you want me to call you Quante or does it matter? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Most people call me Bosco. Okay. Well, where does the name come from? comes from a chocolate drink. My mother used to drink it when she was pregnant with me. I came out this little chocolate baby, so they started calling me Bosco. <laughs> That's not where I even thought that was going to go. <laughs> uh -huh. But I love that story. <laughs> so yeah. give everybody kind of a, a, a little brief synopsis of what this film is about. Bosco. This film is about a guy... It's about a, a young black man sentenced to 35 years in federal prison, finds out that he has a child on the way, and he uh, tries to escape, pull off a miraculous escape to get home to his daughter. It's a, one, it's a story about determination, and moreover, it's a story about fatherhood. Uh, I grew up without my father, and uh, I always told myself that I would not repeat that cycle. found myself in prison three weeks after my daughter was deceived, and I wanted to do whatever I could to break that cycle and escape in prison was the only option for me to get home to her. Were you able to? To get home to get her? Get home to her? Uh -huh. Hey, I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, were you able to get there in time for the birth? <laughs> you got to watch the movie. You got to watch the movie for that. <laughs> yeah, can't okay. tell you that. Okay. <laughs> Aubrey, what made you want to, when you got the script, what made you want to do this film? I mean, it, it was a, you know, let alone even before I read the script, I watched the documentary that they had on him on Nat Geo, I believe. Um, and just seeing the story uh, there kind of, you know, brought to life. Um, it kind of showed me the potential that this could have as a film. Mm -hmm. um, and initially when I got the script, uh, Bosco was still inside. So I was like, man, we got to do this film to, find a way to get him out because this this guy's a, a genius obviously to right. you know have done what he did so um yeah the, the thing for me was like man I, I gotta be a part of this one because you know as an actor it's it's not about you know my career has been been very uh intentional about the roles that I uh pick mm -hmm. and I was at a point in my career where this was the most important time um for for uh picking the right role you know what i mean because right. whatever next role i, I took was kind of going to define what my career was going to be and i felt like this was the perfect type of role you know it was something that gives back to our community and something i learned off of being on you know cloak and dagger obviously was mm -hmm. just like how much of an impact you can have as an actor on on the black community like there are kids out there that are looking at you and are kind of 
seeing themselves in you. You know what I mean? I, like I used to have little kids getting the same hairstyle that I used to have. You know what I mean? Oh, so it was just like yeah. this is a way that that we can give back to the community and, and have people look at a, a, a story of somebody so great and such a legend that even with the cars that he was dealt, he was able to persevere and and do whatever it took to get back home to his to his daughter. And, and like he said, he, he's here now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, uh, it, it worked out. Okay. Well, since you brought up, um, you know, showing kids, kind of being an, an inspiration to kids, one of the things that I really like, Bosco, is that you have um, that you're on the board for the I Can Youth Foundation, which was created to help at risk youth through sports and mentorship. And so, um, do you think that they'll be able to check this? Will they see this film? Or, or I'm sure they're familiar with your story. What kind of feedback have you gotten from these kids? inspiration and i appreciate everybody looking at me as if i'm a legend but i think i'm just a messenger i think i have a purpose you know god gave me a purpose and i'm here to fulfill it and, and one thing that i'm i'm obligated to do is to be an example to show that a person who comes from our community who goes through such hardship that to never give up that a lot of times that hardship is just leading us to where we're supposed to be and with the right state of mind, we can pretty much overcome a lot of things that are happening to us and make our lives a lot greater and improve the conditions of our community. Oh, I love that. Well, I want to thank you both. Bosco starts streaming on Peacock on February 2nd. I'm going to be tuned in and I hope everybody else is too. Thank you, Aubrey and Bosco, for joining me today on Check the Rhymes. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs>